On the next part of our morning show from WRCO, we, we've called in the doctor. Dr. Brian Kroll is here to join us. Uh, good morning. Hey, good morning, Phil. Thanks for having me. Great to have you along here. Your, your appearance on our morning show is, is timely because we're starting to think about physicals and the next school year and all those things coming up soon, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think now that the, the school year's over and you've got some extra time and going to the pool in the summer, it's a perfect opportunity to schedule a sports physical so then you're, you're good for the seasons to come um you know we have uh and, and that'll be a, a nice opportunity to do that so you're set up for two years uh versus waiting until the fall when school gets busy again so it's the the two-year physical and then the alternate year cards do they still do it that way in the schools yeah so it's as long as if you get a wia sports physical before april 1st it'll be good for the next two sports seasons um if it's after april 1st then um it'll count for the remainder of that season and then the following so it's it's usually two but um the april 1st date is the important um marker so if you schedule it now you'll be good for the next school season and then the following um following year and that's physicals for middle school and high school yeah um so middle school high school and then we'll also be doing uh some collegiate sports physicals so check with you know if you're a division three athlete two athletes uh check with your um you know your coach and compliance and we'll do we'll do those those physicals as well Mm -hmm. college athletes too i guess i had not thought about that as well yeah yeah so we try to make it as convenient as possible um it's a just a 15 dollar straight charge for any wia exam and then a 25 dollar charge for any college sports exam if if that's what you need um and so it's regardless of insurance um if you have if you need a wia uh, physical we don't want that to be a barrier and so it's a straight charge um and we'll try to be work you guys in as convenient as possible back in the day they would have a day where athletes would come in and you know just kind of like an assembly line you don't necessarily do that anymore then? um we've considered doing that uh, i think it's uh, we have certain schedules in our in our block right now, uh, so that uh, jo- June, July, August, we'll have a, f- a whole day where we'll try to kind of m- accommodate that, um, and that's really just to get people co- to come in as as they have free free time in their schedule versus one day um, where if they can't make it, then they're calling in and trying to fit into their their busy schedule. So we'll have blocks available June, July, and August. Um, call and get on the schedule. If you want, if you have your own primary care doctor and you want to get in with them, they'll do these exams. Uh, but uh, myself and uh, some some of the other physicians at and uh, advanced practice providers will also do these exams. Uh, you know, it used to be too when practice would start in the fall. You know, you had to have everything turned in by then. But anymore, doctor, lots of times you've got summer camps. You have those days of contact with coaches. It's it's pretty much year round anymore, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is, and and I think it's uh, an important touch point. And I think that's why the WIA allows that two year grace period. Um, and then we see, we get a lot of, of folks who that runs out without them knowing. And then it's, oh, we actually already started practice. And then they're missing a, a day or two of practice because they don't have their physical form. And so this is just be a proactive opportunity, um, $15 flat fee to, to come in and get that revamped for at least the next two years. So um, that's coming up here. Uh, some other things we want to talk about. You want to make sure, I mean, I guess all of us, it pertains to, you know, yearly physicals and things like that and being up to date on vaccines and different things as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think summertime is is the time where you want to be active and outside and moving. And so sometimes it, the physicals can kind of fall to the wayside a little bit, but um, uh, it's it's pretty critical, I think, to to have a, a annual physical. Um, just a touch point with your primary care doctor if you don't have one it's a good time to establish um, especially if if you're not meeting your goals so if if you're wanting to go out and garden and you're having a hard time um, weeding because of back pain or if you're um, you know having questions and frustrated because your refills aren't aren't getting um, you know aren't ready at the pharmacy uh, a physical is a great time where you come in it's every year we'll refill your medications typically for for a year and get you all on the, on, the, on the same track and then answer any questions that, that have been bugging you and trying to get you uh, to accomplish your goals as see fit as as seen fit.
You mentioned, uh, yeah, filling up prescriptions. That's one of the frustrating things. All of a sudden, wait a minute, I didn't realize that ran right. out. And then, you know, there you are. You're kind of backtracking a little bit. Yeah, proactive. I think uh, these are preventative health care visits. And we certainly uh, over at the Richland Hospital do not want you to have a lapse in care. Um, and so if if you are struggling with that or, you know, your, your primary care doctor left and you haven't, you know, come in a while and you've just been getting a few bridging prescriptions, please come in. There's uh, providers taking patients now uh, that could probably get you in within the next week, both in Spring Green, um, Musky Day, and then and then here in Richland, Richland Center. Is there ever a downtime? Because I think we always think about uh, cold and flu season as being this busiest time, but uh, does it ever seem like it slows down in your business? I think it, it, the lull is is post uh, the January 1st, because that's when everyone's premiums are fresh and reset. <laughs> and so uh, folks, uh, that's usually a lull in, in, in kind of preventative visits. Uh, but, um, you know, that's a perfect time too, if, if you want to get in. Um, but anytime really, we'll, we'll try to try to fit you in. Tell us a little bit about your background because it's, it's, uh, it does involve sports, doesn't it? Yeah. So, um, my background in, in passion in sports, um, I think really started in, in, at the high school level and in middle school level, I think being active and on a team teaches you a lot of skills and, uh, it, it gave me direction and taught me leadership and how, and teamwork. And so I think, that's why I, I, I'm passionate about uh, spreading the word on these physicals and just sports in general because I think it teaches you a lot of life lessons and certainly we don't want um, you know physical to be a barrier to your participation in sports um, and then it, it provides uh, an opportunity for us to catch anything that um, could predispose you to an injury uh, I often talk to my patients about common injuries um, for whichever sport they're they're going in if it's wrestling talking about good skills in care and ways to prevent ringworm versus cross country, a ways signs of shin splints and when to, uh, what to do to avoid those. Um, and, and, my, and I think as, as long as we can keep you in the game, I think, uh, sports, sports teach you such a, a wide variety of lessons and, and has impacted my life tremendously. You played college football, didn't you? Yep, yep. So I, I uh, was a walk-on and, and played uh, two years at Iowa, um, and so don't hold that against me. Um, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, but I think the Badgers typically have our number, so uh, whenever I can brag brag each year, I will. Um, it's usually a good game, that's it's for sure. Usually, it's always a good game, and, and my, my wife's a diehard Badger fan along with her family, and so um, I think every time I go to a Badger game, they lose, so I must be a bad luck charm. <laughs> So you have a mixed marriage then a little bit. That, don't you? Yeah, that's right. And I went to University of Wisconsin for my medical school, oh. um, but uh, my wife still refuses to call me an alumni because I'm a I'm a Hawkeye fan. So. Oh sure. <laughs> <laughs> but but you've taken what you've learned in sports and and you kind of apply those to everyday life then. Don't yeah, you? absolutely. And I mean, I ultimately ended with some injuries in my career, and so that's that's what brought me into the medical field in the first place, and and why I'm so proactive in talking to patients about injury prevention um, and as well as performance. I think a lot of times when you're trying to squeak out the last 1% of, of your physical ability, you're risking injury. And so trying to be able to do that safely. Um, I talk to pa my patients all the time uh, regarding that. Do you talk about diet a little bit as well? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, I always talk to, to my own patients and then on these physicals uh, about diet and, and supplements. So if you have any questions about um, supplements, Supplements, uh, common common ones in the high school area are creatine or, or protein powders or uh, ashwagandha or something else where you may have heard uh, in the locker room someone talking about it. Uh, I invite those questions and often ask my patients to bring them up because these are all important questions and I think you should have a good good advice versus just the locker room chatter. Indeed, you talk about giving that extra one percent. Sometimes I think people don't, you know, athletes, especially high school athletes, don't realize that maybe the tank is empty at that point. Right? Yeah, there can be consequences or, you know, you're using a hammer when you need a screwdriver. Um, so you're, you know, you're uh, piling away and putting a lot of effort into something when all you need is to have a different mindset. And so um, especially performance, um, I think that's a, a big key is making sure your effort is, is directed in a productive manner, um, especially in training. Uh, but ultimately it comes down to, to safety and um, getting you on the field 
healed um, and avoiding injury. And so I encourage patients to to play as many sports as they can. Um, I think the uh, over specialization um, in in high school athletes and middle school athletes can lead to overuse injury. And so um, I think the more athletic you can be, the more sports you can play, um, the better athlete you'll be at the one individual sport. That was going to be my next question there, uh, Dr. Kroll, because, uh, yeah, we see lots more athletes specializing than, yep. than they used to, uh, not really giving their body or those particular group of muscles the proper rest time, right? Absolutely. Uh, I think especially just in skill-based sports or very um, you know repetitive movement sports, you can certainly risk injury and, and uh, doesn't give your body um, the time to uh, recover from the season when you're supposed to, your performance is supposed to be at its peak to give yourself an off season to to get yourself stronger um, so that the next when you actually have to perform the best um, you can and, and you'll be a different athlete the next year and so when you're uh, you're not giving your, your body a rest it's almost a detriment um, and then you know cross training is, is pretty important at that young age too uh, it'll develop um, and cross over to your primary sport. Yeah, and not to pick on any one sport, but I heard someone talk about that once about whether it was basketball or whether it was volleyball. You know, you have the same impact on your, your knees, like, all the time. It's so repetitive. It's got to be a little bit detrimental sometimes. Sure. And, and just, um, you know, the, the straight vertical jump, you know, in volleyball, if you're, if you're on the, playing the front line and you're going up and blocking, um, maybe you're not doing much lateral, as much lateral movement, or you're not, um, instead of going up, you're not focusing on pushing out. And so, um, you know, playing basketball and, and volleyball, and then doing some track, you know, it, those will all improve you know, if you're a soccer player or a uh, softball player, um, you'll just become a better athlete, more fluid. Um, and again, avoiding injuries. If you get injured and you're on the bench for four to six weeks, those are four to six weeks that you're not getting better. Um, and so I, I really encourage patients um, to consider other sports. And, and honestly, college college coaches are looking for that. They're looking for the total, total package, a total athlete. Um, you know, football players, uh, football coaches are, are looking for athletes that are playing basketball that are in track and that are excelling at those sports too yeah i wondered about that because i've read bios on some of the more elite athletes and many times for instance maybe they were a state champion wrestler and yep. they also played football yep absolutely um you know i think wrestling uh you know, having an individual sport to complement your your team sport, uh, that mindset uh, translates into the off season. Um, it, it, the skills you learn in wrestling absolutely translate to football, um, and, and so I, yeah, I, I'd strongly strongly encourage that. When you have the the individual physicals, then can you detect? I mean, can you troubleshoot, so to speak, like you know, and anticipate the possible injury or anything like that? Yeah, I think it's it's all sports dependent. Every sport kind of has their their injury uh, du jour. So you know, cross country athletes, stress fractures, shin splints, especially if they haven't done been keeping up with their mileage through the summertime, and then all of a sudden are thrusted into a you know a twenty mile week. Um, that is that is a, a little detrimental. So we'll talk about shoe sizes because when you run, your feet swell a little bit. Though, so you might need to change your shoe size even if you're growing. So if, if you're growing and your shoes start to get snug, you might need a new pair. And so encouraging that kind of kind of discussion. Um, and, and so I, I kind of take approach on, on season specific. And then one of the questions is what other sports do you play? So if they're just playing baseball or softball all year round, then we will have a conversation about, you know, when are you, um, you know, are you throwing every year round? Uh, do you have a pitch count on your pitches? Uh, you know, what are, what are your goals in, in your season? Do you have an A season and a B season? Well, then maybe on the B season, you're not throwing every day and you're focusing more on weight training and, and cross training to, to promote the A season um, and th those kinds of conversations uh, I, I have um, during my WIAs along with my regular physicals if they're playing sports. Yeah, it's interesting to talk about some of the old timers. Uh, we were on the subject of baseball, but some of those guys, you know, your Warren Spawns and people like that, you would hear about them putting the ball down in November and not picking it up again until spring training. You right. know, and I don't think we see that quite so much anymore, do we? No, and and I think uh, the emphasis on performance can sometimes outweigh the uh, spirit of high school sports 
of uh, you know it's it's certainly competitive um i don't uh, i i would want to win uh, as bad as anybody um and sometimes that can sneak into uh wanting to over specialize when in reality uh this is a time for you to uh, spend product product productive time with your friends, be active outside, promote wellness, um, and mental health. And so, uh, making it as much of a game as it is, all these are games that we are privileged to play. Um, and, and so, you know, take it, if you're not having fun, what's the point, you know, at the end of the day, you can be as competitive as you, as you, as you want to be, but it should be fun. You know, you should be targeting a goal, having fun in the process. And if it ever becomes work, um, you know, the spirit of, of high school sports has kind of died at that point. We're very fortunate to have Richland Sports Medicine, uh, you know, on hand at the area schools as well that we, yeah. that we cover. Uh, I always kind of feel safer when I see them there, you know, just as an observer. Yeah, I, um, we have excellent um, athletic trainers. Uh, I, I sometimes will attend games if if the athletic trainers are, are busy or on vacation, um, and they do just a tremendous job. Um, and so whenever uh, the Richland Hospital, um, you know, the athletic trainers can't make it, some of the physicians will fill in, but I've had nothing but great experiences, and, and they're, they're a wealth of knowledge. So always, always kind of refer to them, especially if a – uh, uh, athlete comes in with um, an overuse injury or what have you, I have all the trust in the world that the athletic trainers will get them back on the field as soon as possible. There are some special events coming up uh, the Richland Hospital is planning for, Dr. Kroll. Yeah, I think this is a nice dovetail just to encourage wellness and outside activities. And so the Richland Hospital is sponsoring three days of free admission at the Woodman Aquatic Center. Um, those dates are, are Friday, June 21st, Saturday, July 20th, Friday, August 16th. And then as part of our uh, centennial or 100-year celebration, um, we'll be doing this with a 5K run walk that is on Sunday, September 15th. And that'll also have live music, lawn games, um, food trucks, etc. So it's a whole family affair. If you're not a big runner, um, you know, still please please come by and, and you can support your loved one. And it's a walk too. So, um, you know, it's September. And, and if, if that sounds intimidating, I suggest maybe talking to uh, your primary care doctor and, and getting on a plan so that you can, you can make that walk. Indeed. That's coming up in September. That's, that's, yeah, uh, that's, that's coming up on September, and I'll, I'll plan on being there. Yeah, good. Uh, great weather right now. It's an awesome time to get out and, and enjoy uh, southwest Wisconsin. I know you do with uh, running and biking and, and whatnot. Yeah, I think uh, you know southwest Wisconsin is a tremendous uh, place to explore outside, whether it's fishing, hiking, biking, um, and just taking a walk around the block. Uh it, we have got an awesome cycling community here, and that's my my favorite form of exercise. But um, yeah, running outside, uh, just getting fresh air, and enjoying the the later nights as the sun shines out till you know 8:30, and the uh, um, uh, summer solstice is next Friday. So uh, that'll be that'll be a blast. We'll officially say it's summer then. I guess <laughs> we've been saying it now for a month, yep. but it, it will officially yep. at that time then. So now is the time to schedule those sports physicals then. Yep, words. June, July, and August. Uh, if you call uh, the Richland Center Hospital phone number, um, they they will be looking forward to your phone calls and just be make sure you're requesting for the WIA physicals specifically. If um, the schedulers see that you haven't had a, a primary uh, care doctor, they may suggest uh, getting a staff or uh, recommend setting up a well child exam if you haven't had one to catch up on vaccines. That's optional. Um, so you can just do the $15 uh, physical. If they want to do um, a regular physical with vaccines, that would then be transferred and not be the $15 charge. So those are two separate things, um, but you may get asked that. And if you just want the, physic the WIAA physical, just be specific on that. Yeah, and it's an exciting time of year, you know, as we look at that and the offset season and uh, you know all that the new school year will bring absolutely yeah looking forward to, to taking care of these athletes and uh, being a part of their journey and, and being on the sidelines for some games this fall good to have you in the studio with us again yeah great thanks thanks for having me phil you bet dr brian crawl joining us on wrco's morning show